Hey, Alex and Eric here from Alpha. We're going to run through our recap of the week, working out of the turtle position, the back mount, one of the worst positions we can be in. So I got Eric helping me today. We got Joe Flores today on the camera. So if the video is bad, blame Joe, not me. So let's start from this turtle position. I always want, before we even start in here, I want good structure when I get into this turtle position. I don't want him to be able to hook my legs with his, with his heels. I don't want him to be able to get that seatbelt grip. And we talked about that in a recap a few weeks ago, how important that was when you're on the back. Conversely here, I want to prevent that. So immediately when I'm stuck in a turtle position, I'm trying to get down, elbows are tight inside my legs, my hands form like an offset prayer position to make a big wall of meat right here, and then I'm tucking my head down to make sure that he can't get the hooks in easy and to make sure that he can't get that seatbelt rack. But people are pulling, people are moving, and things happen, and we're going to deal with this. I would rather keep everything out. But generally what people do is they get the hip hooks in first, so let's deal with the hooks getting in. So, Guzman jumps on my back, he's managed to get his hooks in, and I'm keeping my defensive position high because I'm already in trouble with his hooks in. So I want to make sure that I don't let him have that seatbelt grip. So yeah, if he gets in here, if he gets a seatbelt, man, this is bad news. So I want to keep my chin tucked, my walls up, and I'm here defensively. So now I can't just sit here, he's going to eventually get through this. The best structure in the world is only going to last so long when he has this dominant position. So I'm going to start working a mule kick. We're going to put just a couple tiny little variations on it though to make sure that I beat this very active hook. If I'm just kicking straight back from my mule kick position, he can track with me. And he can even make my posture, he can make my life very difficult from here. So I want to make sure that instead of kicking straight back, I'm going to kick inward at an angle. And that's going to minimize his ability to grab my quad with his toes. The next thing we're doing is I'm using my head as a base, this hand's getting, coming down, catching the heel, and I'm sweeping this back to clear. Now as my knee comes back and I rebuild my position, he's got one hook out. And if I get my position tight, this should be very difficult for him to reestablish. Right? He's trying to dig a toe, having a hard time with it. Good position here. So, once this is done, I'm going to concentrate on the foot that is in, and he's going to be hanging on for dear life with this. This is going to feed in to my transitional tactic, and we're going to transition right back to the half guard that we worked last week. So as Joe rotates around, you see this a little bit better, I'm bringing my elbow out to provide some structure and to provide some support for my knee. I need to slide my outside knee out a little bit further to create some space. He generally is going to track that with this foot because he doesn't want to lose his hook. This knee now, without lifting my hips up, I don't have to lift this big heavy guy, my hips are just going to turn out and my knee's going to slide across. So I'm coming to here. So as, let's go back a step. So as his hands in, he's working, he's looking, I'm here, turn. And I'm generally coming to right here with a little bit of an underhook. You'll notice my knee slides out, my hip is on the ground, my back is already driving for the ground because I don't want him to start messing with my collar. So my back continues to drive to the ground. He's probably pushing in. My hips continue to rotate out. And I use that fundamental stepping motion with my outside foot to come to my half guard position. So I've just transitioned all the way out of my turtle, clear the leg, and come to my half guard position, always looking for my underhook. And now I've essentially started to climb that position ladder back up. From here, to drill this, you can go ahead and put it together with our recap of last week. Underhook, shrimp, get my foot in, I wrap the arm, and I conduct my sweep from last week's recap. So now, I get the chance to put repetition in with not just my movement this week, but my movement last week, and we can see that all this transition and positional work starts to blend together. So, recap of the week, had a lot of fun working out of the back mount, one of the worst positions you can be in. You've got to put the time in there, you've got to learn to love that other half of jiu-jitsu that's not on top and not attacking and not even in guard attacking and defending and playing all kinds of cool stuff. You've got to learn to love that part where you're just getting crushed and you're learning to make those tiny adjustments with your hips and find those angles that can make your escape successful. So, hopefully next week I come back and I make it my mission to not wear my radius V for the video and we'll talk about uh, next week's material as we cycle into our new curriculum. So, thanks for watching, like and subscribe. We'll see you guys later.